Hey there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to get a reading done for you today for November 2021. So a general, this will be a general read. You just take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Been having really good luck with these cards. This is, um, well, I guess it's not luck, is it? <laughs> Moonology, Manifestation, Oracle cards. So we're going to pull something from that. And um, I'll probably pull from the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle too, as well. And then we'll get into the tarot and do a Celtic cross for you, Sagittarius. Or sign a Sagittarius. Please, as clear and concise as you can be, open up to change. Open up to change is your message. New moon in Aquarius. Moonology manifestation cards. This says open up to change. Where's my book? Okay. <laughs> I lose my book that quick. So new moon in Aquarius. I'm just, I'm going to read this a little bit to you. I, I don't usually like completely just reading, but I want you to get the whole message here. So it says big changes are forecast but you need to let events unfold with as little steering as possible from you. Sometimes you just need to take a bit of space from a person or a situation. If you know that you've been too emotional about someone or something, this card offers you a chance to cool things down. A rational, even slightly aloof assessment of your current circumstances is called for. Allow for things to develop and try to think of your situation from a different angle. There is only one me, and it's safe to be me, and I love me. Be yourself. Independence doesn't have to mean loneliness. A group of people rather than one person may be the ones to help you. Hmm. It says to call in uh, Archangel Uriel and light a candle, helping you view life with compassion. And I can't stress how much it's, it's so important for you to have self-compassion, self-love, self-compassion. Don't judge yourself harshly by um, mistakes or the, what, you know, the way that you learn something. Only mistake is the one not corrected. And I'm pretty sure JFK said something similar to that. Similar. All right, so new moon in Aquarius, Sagittarius. Now we're going to get um, an Ask the Angels card. What I do with these cards, you can ask um, yes or no before I pull it, and then we'll see you know, what it says, or you can just wait and see what it says. I find they answer yes or no questions pretty well if you have a question in your mind. All right, for Sagittarius, first question, number one, first question. Forgiveness. It's all about that. that must be the change that's wanting to come your way. Self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Be nice to yourself. Um, loving you helps heal me. I don't know if you've heard that before. But I heard that recently. I love it. Uh, forgiving you helps heal me. Loving you helps heal me. Be assertive. Stand up for what you want. Now is not a time to be timid, they're saying. Now is not a time to be timid. What else? What else? Within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks. All right. Within the next few weeks. So something big looks like it's going to be happen, happening. Maybe these changes that they're talking about in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks. All right. Interesting. Kind of like I'm wanting to know what, what the change, what change are you talking about? What are you talking about? Change? Right. Intuitive life coaching oracle. Let's get this out. And let's see what do you have for Sagittarius. November 2021. There we go. For Sagittarius. Yep, self-love, self-compassion, empath, empath, 
probably are an empath. You probably are. Soul group. Now, and then maybe it's talking about a soul group healing or helping you heal yourself. It, it might be talking about the group energy here. You know, with it saying, um, be open to change. And it, it, like, if you cannot find a solution with one person, then maybe it's a group of people that are going to help you. That's nice. 53, soul group. You are getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. 65, which is eight. So prosperity, then 65, karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice, justice or fairness. And I would call on Archangel Michael if that is um, an issue, some kind of issue with justice or the truth. Fear, 37, fear. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life that you deserve. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life you deserve. Number three, you are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. That's very true. And then I have Empath 51. You may be confusing other people's energy with your own. And it may feel... Um, Nervous, nerve-wracking. You may be even confusing thoughts um, that aren't yours. Biddy. Sorry. Cannot concentrate very well. Um, let's see. The inner child oracle. The inner child oracle. Be true to who you are. Probably, yeah, probably self-love and you are that empath. Okay, this is about being authentic, trusting your intuition. Um, and also, I mean, it's, it is your ability to trust yourself. Be true to who you are. Be your own person. You can feel a sense of safety within yourself and within your intuition should you choose to. All right, so let's get the tarot out. And do a spread here for Sagittarius for November 2021. Let's see what we've got. For Sagittarius, what is their issue? What's the issue for them? For November, what's going to be their issue? It's about perseverance. And please don't give up. They're saying, don't give up. That's the issue. We don't want you to give up. There's something about being more yourself that is going to help this nine of wands don't try to force anything at this moment at this time in the past where being yourself may have not done you good will do you good today in this energy being who you are without worry here of any kind of criticism or anything like that or judgment let all that go okay the challenge Knight of Cups. I, I see this as people being nice to one another too, you know, um, or you offering your cup of love to somebody else, possibly withdrawing it. I mean, you're being told not to quit on your project, on your soul awakening project, but there might be a person that you're withdrawing your energy from just because you feel like they're not being genuine. Like they're trying to offer you love and support, but you don't feel it's genuine. Okay, I don't know what this is exactly about. It might be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but we will continue. And then I'll probably pull some of the um, to clarify as we go with the Rider weight. Okay, the issue, the issue. Five of Cups, feeling disappointed in yourself, remorse, regret. All right. Maybe for withdrawing your energy from something or someone. Okay, for Aquarius, let's get this um, clarified. What is the Nine of Wands about? What is this about? The Ten of Wands. You can't carry these um, 
these emotions with you much farther. So this is telling us that uh, your energy is really overloaded and heavy and it's making you burn out in more than one aspect. And so more than one area of your life, you could experience burnout because you're carrying too many, um, too many heavy emotions and it's time to let the emotions go. So in a way, we're withdrawing this um, energy that we're putting into beating ourselves up for something. Those cups there that spill, they're not broken. They spill. The glasses are still intact. You can pick them back up, fill it back up, right? Anything for this Knight of Cups. Anything for the Knight of Cups. Two of Pentacles trying to do it all and handle and change. Doing it all and handle and change. Listen, the ups and downs right now are going to be pretty high and, and pretty low. So, yeah, if you're empathic, then expect right now, especially with the moon being so close to pretty much full, it's um, you're getting a lot of energy here. You're getting a lot of emotional energy here. So if you're trying to do everything, the challenge might be to get balanced, a little more balanced in some area in your life. Okay, so there's that. All right, the past energy, past energy. What's this? This is a wish granted. Past energy, wish granted. It's still a nine, so there's still letting go and endings to accept and things to let go. There's just, there's still surrender. There's still surrender. So wish granted here in the recent past. What is the now moment for Sagittarius? It looks like the challenge, the challenge is for you to see from a different perspective. And that will happen when you release blame, when you re release uh, feeling remorse or disappointment in someone or yourself. It feels like yourself. It feels like you're beating yourself up. You, it's, it's like, how long will I hang in there? And they're saying, as long you will hang in there until you realize you need to let go of these heavy emotions that you've been carrying. They're they're being carried around by you like baggage. So it's best to let go of them. All right, and could be a uh, Virgo energy too. Nine, 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 nine. Biddy. Shh. All right, nine, 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 nine of swords. So, wow. This is like a major, major call for us to look at our our emotions, look at what we're carrying, look at our thinking, make sure our thinking isn't negative. You know, these, these swords each represent like a negative thought, right? So one stacking upon the other here, nine of swords, it's just feeling like you don't know what to do. Sometimes this causes real problems, okay? Holding onto this can cause to dis-ease in the body. It can cause some real, really big problems. So, yeah. How long are you going to hang in here until you release these emotions? And how do you release these emotions? By experiencing them. And I think in your situation, there's a little bit of this empath ability to know. Ask your spirit team to help you recognize between your emotion and somebody else's or a thought and somebody else's thoughts because that empathic picking that up. Um, yeah, you want to release stuff, but you don't, you don't have everything is not yours to release that you're feeling. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so how do you feel? You feel like withdrawing your energy. And the sun is in reverse. And this is taking your energy away from something. Taking your energy away from something. It could be a, um, no, it's it's definitely you not. It could be you feeling fatigued. It could, you feel, it could be you feeling like um, you've sacrificed a lot for this. Let's get some... Um, Clarification for the Nine of Swords. Emperor in a reverse. 
somebody that maybe possibly misused power, um, this is usually about the foundations. So having to rebuild, like rebuilding on a foundation, how are we going to rebuild? Who will a strategy who will give me the strategy so this emperor here in reverse is out of fear so this nine of swords here is is living in fear so you can do something to change that energy let's get something else for the nine nine of swords the hierophant in reverse commitment that just did not work out or changing up a contract, adjusting things if they need to be changed, not doing something the traditional old way. Okay, what's the sun in reverse about? This, this root withdrawal of energy. What's the withdrawal of energy about? Ten of Pentacles. Whew. Yeah. All right. So you, it feels like we're letting go of this. The light is being shown to you on how you can have what you want. With spirit, you can have everything that you want. With disappointment, self-doubt, regret, and those heavy feelings, it's going to be more of a challenge to get to your Ten of Pentacles, which is the more than enough card. Okay? So we're emotionally detaching from a situation so that we can put energy into something that we know is going to be helpful for people in the future, like in our family in the future. So it's something long lasting. And there may be like a family, but some of you all may have a family business that um, has some issues that, that might be why that's coming up. But you're withdrawing your energy from some, from all the heaviness. When you withdraw from the heaviness, then you're going towards your 10 of pentacles. So in the environment, yeah, five of pentacles coming out a lot, guys, a lot for like a lot of signs too. It's all around. It's what you're feeling. You're feeling um, not being heard, left out, five of pentacles, ghosted, kept me hanging type of deal. Or you could be going through a financial pinch like at the time, at the moment, you might be going through some financial strains. Um, these fives are changes and they are temporary. And like it says, open up to change and change is two of pentacles. And then you've got change all over. So this is what you want. If you're experiencing what feels like lack, right? When you're experiencing and saying, I, I'm going without what I need, then that's telling the universe that you still believe in lack, right? So this is temporary and you will get through this too. Okay. The hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. I have a Leo energy, but maybe not. I don't know. Feeling like you're not going to be strong enough to overcome this. And you are, though. That's what I don't get is that you, you most certainly are. Whether you change up or this could even be dropping soul contracts. If you're just, you know, done with a soul contract and you don't want to do it, you can do that too. You drop your karma. Drop everything. Drop whatever you need to to surrender completely. And it's just a fear. The fear that you won't be strong enough. That's just the fear. The outcome here, Sagittarius, for you is beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's time for things to turn in a different way. And it's time for you to withdraw energy and all these little things that you're doing around you and put it into yourself. So... This is a uh, good fortune coming your way when you go inside and you find out what is it that you really want. Virgo twice, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Wow. Good luck coming for you. Finding out what your truth is and what it is that you really want, Sagittarius. The moon on the bottom. The moon is probably helping you out. You're probably feeling some really strong emotions right now. This feels really strong. It feels like you've been, this tells a story, like you've been waiting for this luck to come in. Like it's about time. Uh, the moon, something about communication here. It's not that great. Possibly with a Leo or Aries emperor energy there. I'm going to pull some more oracle cards for you because this was a, a kind of a tough reading to get through. Um, it's heavy emotion, 
but it's what you're going through and it's what you're experienced so that you can get rid of this. So let me pull, um, let me pull a card from the Archangel deck to start off closing your reading out. Let's, let's start with that. Archangel deck. What do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius? Seraphim Seraphiel. Seraphiel. Tune in to the divine will and open up to higher illumination. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Archangel Lavender. Prepare the soul for healing. Forgive and release everyone. Oh, really, really exciting. Good good energy. It's, it, I'm telling you, once you release these feelings, these um, resentments, the disappointment, when you release all these baggages, judgmental, anythings, like forgiving you heals me, loving you heals me. Demonologist. I always, I'm like, what? How's that? That might be, that might be your own demons getting to you, trying to make you feel like you have self-doubt or something like that. That might be trying to get in the way. So your own demons. Demonologists, these are, uh, this is the oracle of genetic gifts. So you may be gifted or talented to remove entities, entity banishing and removal. Author, spiritual experiences, guidance and healing. B for blogger platform, employee spiritual services. Employee spiritual services, definitely could do that. Could get rid of people's problems there. And then let's do um, a card from this deck, the Witch's Oracle, and I'm gonna wrap up the reading then. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> it's a lot. 25 nemesis, your, nem your arch nemesis lessons lessons to be learned 37 holy water purification Eridia, the queen of witches heritage your heritage aries energy and then evoke evocation ask your spirit team ask these um people to help you ask the spirit realm to help you pentacle that's about your pentacles help you with your pentacles help you with your wealth finances all of this coming out of this this energy will help you do that so you're saying to evoke you have the power to evoke help right now if you want all right oops <laughs> that went right off the table Burned right off the table okay jug lighthearted, carefree time Peacock, beware, great pride, and older man, dealings or relationship with older man, and door. Opportunities are waiting for you. All right, and that's what I've got. Thanks, Sagittarius, and the 11 light. Bye-bye.